the cinephiles, freaks and weirdos. Tape heads, ghouls and ghosts love to tune in and listen to Psychotronic Coast to Coast. Skin slip and Owen Neal are going to reveal their thoughts on movies that most people don't dare to watch. People really shouldn't care to watch this one. So like me to just interrupt with my opinion about the movie we're going to review tonight while the theme song is still playing. Welcome to Psychotronic Coast Coast. We're your hosts with the most. I'm Skin Slip. That's Owen Neal. We watch often terrible movies like tonight's Endeavor, and uh, sometimes we watch some good stuff like last week's. Uh, so what what did we watch this week, Owen? The hell did we watch last week? That was good. Mutilations. It was awesome. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, uh, we watched so... Swamp Head, which I actually own on DVD. Yeah, it was. Uh... I want to point out, the cover's awesome. Oh yeah, cover's great. Down here, three girls in bikinis on a makeshift raft does not happen. It's true. No makeshift bikinis or rafts. I mean, <laughs> no rafts, no no bikinis. Yeah, I want to say the budget's right here. Yeah, the budget is in the the painted black <laughs> floating spectral head that attacks at night in the pitch of nut black where you can't fucking see it except it's green teeth. I think your version might have been a little darker than mine. <laughs> Fair. Fair. There was some pretty dark scenes though. That's what I've rented it. What do you expect, you know? Digital. Digitally compressed. Anyway, so yeah, Swamp Head from 2011. Uh it's a throwback film. It's shot it's shot in digital or yeah, I'm pretty sure it's shot in digital and then either there's a post process footage put to, or post process done to it to make it look like VHS or they then dubbed it to a VHS to give it that look. Because uh, it looks like it's a VHS but like not quite like a VHS, you know what I mean? You know when you see it, it's not quite authentic. Yeah. It's almost though. It, it's 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 a, it's a worth of tr- it's, a, it's a valid attempt at being authentic. I don't I don't begrudge them that for sure. So <clears throat> yeah, why don't you uh, you take us through the movie as best as you can? Okay. Let's see. There was a guy swimming. He pulls up a dagger of some sort. That's how the movie starts. And then there's way too long credits and walking through the woods. True. <laughs> yeah. And then we see that guy again, which I didn't realize it was him at first, but he's in a bathtub with some girl. A bathtub, but a non-turn on jacuzzi. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's because it, they, they they can't have it on clearly because of the audio issues. Oh, that's point. Audio issues. Oh, guess what? Oh, the yeah, entire yeah, yeah. movie's in your left <laughs> ear. Good luck. Right yeah. Yeah, get used to listening to one fucking speaker. It was it was it that hard to duplex the audio, guys? Like there's a there's a little option in Final Cut Pro, you know, or or Premiere or Sony Vegas, whatever you're using, and you can either do you can duplex the audio. And before I and everyone's like, what the fuck does that mean? What I mean is you take the audio, and then you swap the channel so that you get one mono in two two tracks. Because right now it's mono in my left ear, and I want to murder you for it. Because holy crap, it was annoying for 75 minutes. A merciful 75 minutes, I might say. You were able to put it to both channels, though, weren't you? Yes, I was, I was using my little media player. So I was able to. Not me. I stuck right with just the side. Yeah. If you're watching on TV, you're not going to notice, really. Unless yeah, you have surround sound, and then you're going to notice. I wasn't. I was watching. I have headphones, headphones. Yeah. all in one ear. Super annoying. The whole time. Oh, anyway, so yeah, someone. Sorry. He's trying to. Yeah, he's trying to bang a chick. She wants none of it. And then Swamphead shows up and he just eats his stomach out. He's not very smooth. He didn't really earn it, to be fair. So. <laughs> didn't work hard enough. 
You ain't, I ain't drunk enough to fuck yeah, you. Yeah, that's what she says. She even says she's not drunk enough to fuck him. I'm like, oh man. <laughs> and and this woman is clearly uh, at a low point in her life. So you know, when she says that, you're like, wow, I'm a piece of shit. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then yeah, you cut two, which I thought was the next day, which won't make it's a lot morning, of sense think, when, we, right? when we get to the point. Yeah, because this was at night. But we're introduced to two kids. Yeah, they're adults in their twenties, clearly playing. T- 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 they had to be at least sixteen, supposedly, because they drove. Yeah, yeah, they were at least sixteen, but like they were at least twenty-six in real life, at <laughs> least. It's not they're like riding 30. bikes, and like wearing the- wearing clothes that no. are just not right. <laughs> just so wrong. He tells his buddy that his neighbor was murdered that night. Dun, dun, and, uh, the fat guy's brother shows up, calls him faggots, and throws beers at him. Didn't really m- mean anything, but <laughs> I guess to show that he has a brother. Yeah. So that oh, it's just to set up that that later comment on the phone in the next sequence. Anyways, they end up biking it. to the neighbor's house, hiding in the bush, and watching this cop speech. So there's like two corners, I assume corners, at the body. Like this is the next day, probably like mid afternoon. Yep. <laughs> body still sitting in the jacuzzi. Uh, I want to point out that the actor who was dead was probably the most breathing thing I've ever seen. Like he was breathing a lot for some reason. Like you know, once in a while you see a dead body in a low budget movie and they breathe. But they, they usually, like, try to not breathe. This guy was just like... <sighs> so, apparently no one told him he was dead. Uh, you still yep. there? Yep. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so you see the coroners talking about whatever supposedly happened. Cops show up, act like they shouldn't be there. This mention of the guy shit after he was dead. I didn't see the point of it. I guess it was supposed oh, to be funny. There's a whole bunch of shitty juvenile ho- humor. Like in one scene, a dude's dick is hanging out. And uh, he jerks off so loudly everyone can hear him. I actually laughed at that one. It was kind of funny. But before that, you have to <laughs> uncomfortably watch him jerk off for a few fucking minutes. Oh, and then there's the silhouette of the guy fucking, the guy and the lady fucking. But then, oh, we're going to twist it because you see him pull his dick out and jerk off and come all over her tits and silhouette. Like, oh, that's fucking funny as hell. I was laughing. Oh, it was terrible. Jumping too far ahead, man. I don't care. I had a rant about that <laughs> shit. That was bullshit. All right. It kept fucking happening. Well, I want to rant about this whole cop corner scene where they kept fucking cutting to where they're standing by a building and then there's nothing behind them and then their building's behind them and then they're standing next to each other and then they're across from each other. I I love it because I complain about this shit all the time when we're watching these (laughs) movies and he always tells me I don't don't understand and now he gets it. He gets it tonight. Tonight he understands. I don't see the other times you're talking about. This was blatant. I, I mean, like, but I'm trained to see this shit. And, like, I mean, like, I, I, I research filmmaking, so it's like it's on my mind. So, like, when I see a horrendous breaking of, like, the 180 rule, or, hey, that's obviously done on a different day. Like, like in Samurai Cop, when, like, it cuts to an insert shot and you can see he's wearing a different wig. Like, you know it's a different <laughs> fucking day. You know I mean? Like, and that's the kind of thing. They do it all the time in movies. And when you make, when it's obvious, I notice it. Yeah, What's obvious to me is a little bit is a little bit more subtle than some, and that's fine. But that's because I, like I said, I'm got a more keen eye, I suppose. And this whole that. scene went on like way too long. That's every talking scene back and forth. This movie's seventy five minutes, and it's like twenty minutes too long. The only thing in that scene I slightly chuckled at was the bad dialogue, which was seemingly purposely bad. Where he's like, "It's the guy that killed him was just a dumb criminal who's very smart." I don't know. It was just so stupid. I chuckled at it. There, there's a bunch of like things like that. It is, it is trying to be so bad it's good, which is precisely what you're not supposed to do. Just try to make <laughs> the best movie you can. If it's bad, enjoy the fact that someone found some sort of joy out of it. All right? Like shit. It's not that hard, kids. Also, randomly, one of the guys scoops up the turd in a bag and then decides that they need to burn the body. 
Yeah, like what? Know. It's so weird. And then the the two the two main guys were like, "I'm bored. Let's go." Yeah, and, uh, I was like, "Yeah, me too, ways. kid. Me too." Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> You got the skinnier guy's mom who looks younger than him. Yeah, it's the same age. Scene. I bet you I wouldn't be surprised if they're like the, the fucking boyfriend and girlfriend in real life. <laughs> like, honestly, because they looked like they were basically the same age. Another long, drawn out scene just to set up that he calls up the girl he likes to talk her into going camping. Oh, but in that sequence, there's that thing like, oh, tell your, tell your brother's son to stop making out with 12 year olds. And they're talking about the ki- guy in the van. His... We don't know who they're talking That's about. That's what we're assuming since he's the brother of the one guy, right? I assume they said a name, but we didn't pay attention to I, anyone's it, name. I so. assume over my fucking head, to be fair. <laughs> I will be 100% accurate. I don't, I, I, I missed it, I guess. It's nothing that ever came into play, so. You know, was it the, the fat kid or his brother? Who knows? It doesn't matter. It's just something that's in there. Yeah, I just, like, great. Okay. <laughs> it's a really awkward fucking line. Like, why the... F- Do you think that's funny? Like, is it funny that he's going around, like, voicing himself on 12-year-old? Is that a joke? I'm confused. Am I, I supposed know. to laugh at this? I just want to know. Like, I'm supposed to laugh at him like that's a bad joke. And, well, I can accept that everyone that's a bad joke from him. If it's not, then what's the fucking point? It doesn't serve any point in the story. You know what I mean? No. It's nothing that ever comes back. So it's... Him, his girlfriend, Baffling. his fat friend, uh, she brought along a friend who does not want anything to do with the fat guy. <laughs> yeah, really. And, has n- oh, my God. Yeah. And her uh, mentally challenged brother who just shits himself and plays with it. He plays with his own so ass and fucks that's, like, fists himself, apparently, which is why he shits himself. Which I guess is the running gag. I guess that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, so he's a cliche of a person with um, a mental disability and he, and he eats his poop? I'm, what? Okay. I don't know. He wears headgear because that's funny, right? So they get to I, their I'm sorry, I might spot. be just being too hard on this film. I, I, I could be being too hard. Maybe I'm part of the PC police or maybe I'm just not laughing because it's not fucking funny. If it was funny, funny, it was funny, I'd fucking defend it. Because anything can, anything can be funny. Anything can be funny. Nazis raping people can be funny if you frame it properly. It's going to be really fucking hard, but you can do it. So I'm not offended by a joke. I'm offended by a bad joke done badly. Be clear. Yep. I mean, I probably would have laughed more at the fat guy shitting himself. That That's at least, an, I, like, that's kind of poop humor. I can get behind poop humor. <laughs> like, I get where you're going. There. Like, I didn't find it funny, but I'm like, eh, I, all right. If I was 12, I probably would have laughed at that. Like, you know, like, you know, like, I can get to the, the, like, even the jerking off thing, like, the, like, the silhouette, like, bukkake, like, whatever, like, who cares? Like, that's, that's funny if you're, like, 14, you know? Like, that's fine, I can live with that. But I can't, offensive humor when it's just not funny. Ah. It wasn't funny, don't worry. Yeah, you're not don't offending worry. anyone, I'm just saying it's not funny because it wasn't funny. It really isn't. We should also point out that the... One of the guys picked up the uh, the dagger from the house. The guy that got killed by it, because the whole point was the oh, dagger yeah, yeah, yeah. was brought up, and that's what made Swamphead come around. But uh, yeah, they're setting up a camp. They just kind of left the guy with covered in crap while they walked off, because no one brought toilet paper. Even though they went later camping. Scene, he has toilet paper. But, they went camping and didn't bring toilet paper? What? <laughs> or marshmallows. Oh my god. Again, later, they're more of the marshmallows, so... Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, they uh, run into, I think, someone from their school, professor or something. And he's got his, which looks like a tire gauge with a piece of metal rod taped to it. And he's like, it's my specter detector. He didn't call it that. That would have been way better. Mm. But... <laughs> But he's like, oh, this swap head is out here. Somehow he knows about this. I'm stealing that just so you know. (laughs) Is that from like Ghostbusters? It might be. I don't give a shit. I want to reference (laughs) that shit. At least a cartoon. Yeah, he ends up in with them. They're in danger. They go back. He tells the story of Swamphead, which was some guy wearing shitty armor. 
He's a badly Viking, swinging a sword. Supposedly. Fighting a but bunch she's of like, that... I like the voiceover. It's like, he was the master with the sword. And he looked like someone who was trying to LARP. Swinging the sword he around. Looks, yeah, he looks like a buffer. Like someone's trying to, you know, hit each other phone shit and like role playing. There's nothing wrong with that. that. I'm not trying to make fun of that. I'm just saying, like, like that's what he looks like. He looks like someone <laughs> attempting to be be like a Viking, but not with anything actually period accurate. Just kind of some Viking esque things. And then some people in some Indian uh, Native American shirts pretending to be Indians. As, not even Native American shirt. He like. A bandana that had like that Native American South, no, it was like not even that. It was like the Southwest <laughs> pattern, like the teal, the turquoise, and white yeah. and red. Like, you're like that's. I think that might be offensive. Also, <laughs> I think you may have actually been really racist suddenly. Like, I know you're not trying to be racist, but like me, yeah, you may were you might you, you were racist just now. Shit, that was not racist. Really, I, I'm pretty you sure you know they set up their stands on the side of the road. Oh sell their god. shit in Texas. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh my god. That what? shit. Oh god, that was just this movie was just a what the <laughs> fuck. Oh my god. But yes. I did chuckle at where they're like uh the Native Americans are they as he called them the savages. Yeah, he called them savages just, just to add insult to imagery. Uh scalped his wife and child and then when he gets there, his wife has all her hair. So I, know. I, don't, I don't. She was not scalped at all. No one was scalped. What the fuck are you? Her neck was about? stabbed. <laughs> so then he decides he's gonna go kill them, and they immediately just decapitate him. Yep. It's <laughs> he wants like, oh. to nothing. He fights them a little bit, and then they decapitate him. To be fair. And that's apparently how <laughs> Swamp Head came about. And now it's this disembodied Viking head. It's all black, flying around on in at night. Shot actually at night, so you can't actually see anything. Yeah. So this is where they all kind of. I believe the brother shows up, steals the kind of goth girl, drives off with her to go party at a kegger because she doesn't want anything to do with Fat Boy. God, that was so stupid. So then, wow, could you be more demeaning to your own self, lady? Her name was Nostalgia, by the way. I want to point that out. Her name was fucking Nostalgia. This movie couldn't be more offensive. The one African-American character is fucking named Nostalgia. Because they're just trying to, like, are you trying to, what are you doing here? I don't know. Wasn't one of the guys named Zap Brannigan? No, no, that was Dr. Something Brannigan. And I was like, (laughs) Zap Brannigan? Which was, I mean, that was probably a, that's actually a sly little reference. By using just, like, the last name. Anyway, similar. Anyway, they drove off. They're actually good parts of this movie. The dream sequence that's later in this film, really well shot. I'm gonna give credit where, where it is. That was really well done. I was like, wow, that's really great slot shot selection. It's really creepy and uneven, easy. Like you know, like they really did do some things right in this movie, just not a lot. <laughs> so. Heavy guy goes off with the mental challenge guy to sleep in a tent so the other guy can bang his girlfriend. That's the whole banging, masturbating shit. Yeah. He ends up leaving because obviously that guy is shitting himself constantly. So he's hanging out with the other guy who apparently doesn't sleep at all. Oh, between that, he jerks off, though, don't forget. Yeah, I already mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but there's also the the one guy. So, yeah, the the sex scene, then some shit happens. I think Swamphead kills some random people. Three games, yeah, and then it comes yet. back, and then he... yeah, okay, all right. Can I get through this, please? Okay, <laughs> it's killing me. It's killing you. Okay, let's go. Uh, yes, it's actually, dude's making me. the dude's like, we need to use this knife to kill it, and then he proceeds to make traps for some reason. That was the whole scene there. Oh God! But then... <laughs> and by the way, the trap sequence was. Another really well shot reference to either Kickboxer or Bloodsport. I can't remember which, but it's one of those fucking movies. It's a it ma- was... montage, and it, he looks like Jean Claude Van Damme's character in those movies. It so. was two traps, mm-hmm. and uh, they'll come into play later. But so then it cuts to the jerk brother. They crash to miss a deer, which apparently. Swamp head hypnotized into walking in the road because there was that whole long drawn out scene where the deer and the swamp head were looking at each other. 
Uh, I guess that's what it's supposed <laughs> to imply. It was not made clear. I don't know. So they crash the van. Swamphead kills them. She runs off. Ends up somehow running through the woods to the kegger, which has the uh, skinny dude's mom going to go bang somebody in a boat. I don't know. It didn't matter. Oh, throwaway line. Oh, it's yeah. supposed to be a juvenile joke. Okay. No one, wa- no one wants to listen to her. They're all drunk. There's a robot. There's a band. Guy there is a robot. This. I For no reason, there's just a robot. It's never stated that the guy in the robot suit, we're just supposed to assume. No, that robot. was a full-fledged robot. Yeah. Swamphead hits it, and he sh- short circuits to death. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> it is, in fact, a fucking robot randomly at this. So, clearly, oh, we're trying to be f- funny again? Yep. Hey guys, it'd be funny if there's a robot randomly. <laughs> what a song Long- I charts him out. Yeah. <laughs> Long story short, Swamphead kills everyone at the party. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And then decides, I guess, to go back after the other people who have the dagger. I don't know why. He just made a little detour for no reason. Just some extra kills kill. in there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he, ends people, up, bro. he ends up killing Fat Boy by slitting his neck with his teeth. And then he confesses his love for the girl that he likes while he dies. I thought he was telling his friend that he loved him. Is that right? Because there was no girl there other than his friend's girlfriend, and oh, that wouldn't right. be cool. Oh, my God. I'm already I starting to he... block parts of this movie to my, for my brain. <laughs> Pretty sure he told his friend he loved him. After his friend shoved his throat back in? Yes, because he couldn't talk before. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. I, I, I chuckled. I was like, what? All right. I'll give him there, that. Uh, that was a gimme. There, uh snare trap goes off and it's to do with glasses which we didn't even mention there's three goons out in the woods they kept calling his friend a faggot and then they both got killed yep that that's pretty much that sums everything up but right I mean, there perfectly so the glasses guy is now with them which there was a pretty funny scene there because uh he gets attacked and then uh swamp head attacks the other guy and he like punts it and it ends up landing on the other guy the guy with the glasses and finishing him off he's like sorry I chuckled at that. Yep, he did. Yeah, he did chuckle. The girl, at that. the girl did run off at this point when Swamphead came back. She ran off screaming into the woods. Uh, so those two are dead. He jumps in the car and just leaves the professor there to be killed by Swamphead and drives away. Which yep. made me laugh because it was a green screen and they were just throwing leaves on the window like he was driving through the woods. But he never gained like any distance from the professor in the background. <laughs> Because it's just like shot. They yeah. stuck it behind it, but they didn't shrink it or anything. It was bad. And uh, I thought he might he might run over his girlfriend, but she comes out on the road and sets off the only other trap, which was Spike through a chest, which he didn't even realize. He's like, come on, get in the car already. And he gets up there and she's, she's dead. And he's like, oh. Yeah. And uh. she tells him to take care of her I assume brother. Yeah, the one who shits himself. Yeah. Yeah. He needs his, his when he starts getting worked up, you give him his uh, tranquilizers, or he'll fuck his own ass. <laughs> and then she says, "I love you," and dies. So he's like, "That's it. I'm gonna fight Swamphead." Oh my god. Even though Swamphead didn't really kill his girlfriend, <laughs> the uh... Professor did. So he drives back, gets the knife out of the tent. There's sort of a battle. He's trying to slice him. But he's by getting bitten, and then he throws it into the swamp, and then the movie just ends. I like to point out that all of that he described, all I could see was a black screen with like the teeth <laughs> and the occasional shining light on the back of the actor. Yeah, some of those were almost completely dark. It was it was really badly shot at the end there. But yeah, he doesn't stab it. He throws it in the swamp. There's a bunch of shots of the swamp bubbling. You're like, it's gonna come back out, and then it just ends. Yep. So, fuck yay! Us, fuck, I'm free. <laughs> Seventy six minutes, I'll never get back. Your movie was and, bad, uh, and you should feel bad. I was hoping he would just drive away, and that's how it would end. Like he just left the mentally challenged guy in his own shit in the tent, because he never died, far as I remember. Yeah, I do that too. Fuck it. That's how. It yeah, like, I mean, the movie's ridiculous as it is, you know. It's like I liked you, but I'm not taking care of your brother. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> didn't like you that much. Shit. <laughs> like you're hot, but you're not that it's, hot. Uh, I mean, I you're not like <laughs> bound to you after you're dead hot. I mean, like there, there, there are very few women in this world. I'm telling you, you better be in some serious love. If you're bound to you while you're still dead, love. You know what I mean? That's hardcore love. They didn't know each other that long. <laughs> they set up for a sequel for some reason. Because they were hoping assholes like me would buy the fucking DVD or rent it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, what's your final verdict on this movie? Swamp head. Uh, I thought the gore was actually pretty good. Yeah, the one... Oh, dude, when the chick gets impaled through the chest... Or the, through the back and out the chest with the spikes. I thought that was a fucking great shot. That was really well done. And like the hot tub guy, like that was pretty nasty. Yeah, it was obviously it was yeah. obviously real meat in some places, and there was like actual bugs everywhere. Oh, it was yeah, it was pretty gross. And there was a few other sequences like that. And like I said, the dream sequence was really good. But man, there was a lot of bad in this movie. Yeah, I mean, I chuckled some. And it's not the worst movie we see in the show. No, definitely not. Not by a long but... shot. Like, I really wanted to like this. I went in expecting it to be about this bad, so I wasn't really disappointed. I'm like, yeah, all right. It's about, it's about as bad as we expected. For the, these movies have a certain level of badness, right? Yeah. It's just, you, you kind I of wanted expect to it. laugh more. Yeah, I was hoping to laugh more, too. I mean, there was it's better than points. It's better than Raiders of the Lost Shark. So. There's even some points where there's long, drawn-out scenes, like where he walks away from his mom, and then there's just a badly added fart sound like right there's a lot of that shit though like a little I'm stupid to laugh tags. at that like oh and don't laugh fart. guys we'll end every scene in a lot la- that's not funny though it's not funny no. a lot of scenes i'm just like i okay but there are some fucking jokes and gags that maybe laugh you know i mean they're few and far between and you know your sense of humor might vary from ours to be fair so what do you what do you rate it I'm going to be generous. I'm going to give it two out of five simply because it's a fucking decapitated head killing people. I was going to give it a one and a half out of five. That's so, fair. You know, it's just that end sequence. If it was actually, if I could actually see about one third more of the, the night shots in the movie, I think I would be a little more happy with the film, you know. Because as it is, I'm watching 75 minutes. Of that 75 minutes, at least 15 minutes is in blackness. Throughout Damn, the movie, you know what I mean. Digital copy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah digital copies, man. <sighs> Crunch down. A lot, a lot of it was clearly like night for day too. Well, those are fine. It's when they actually shot the night for night shots, which is oftentimes why low budget films do day for night. Oddly enough, you know, because it's hard. So yeah, I mean, you know, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't the worst thing we've seen. Nope. Not as good as the bloody ape. Sorry. Well, the ape headed. Oh, hey, do I have to mention that this is yet another film in which a penis gets bitten off or ripped off? Yes. Oh, we should point it out. Drunk guy goes to piss. I'm like, are we going to see a penis bitten off? It jumps up, bites his face, and then it randomly bites a band member's dick off who had his pants on. Right? It's like, this what? This guy with his dick out doesn't do it. Chews through a guy's pants and bites his dick off. I Not Yeah, right. yeah okay. <laughs> but a dude's dick does get. Th- th- yeah. c- bit off it's just another movie that we've watched on this fucking show it's like movie number four right write a book severed penises in movies severed penises in me my journey my <laughs> odyssey through film <laughs> oh god well I mean you know Teeth would have to be on that that's a great movie too we should do that now that people talk about Teeth we should do Teeth on the show at some point I've never seen it it's about a woman with a monster vagina in, I know, I know yeah. that much. Well, and, and we're like, oh, I don't want to see people because they're dick shots. It's like, it's not like that. It's it's actually a really well shot, really really great movie. I want every movie to have a dick being bit off. What are you talking about? <laughs> <I know>. All <laughs> right. So next week we're watching the 1989 film Slime City, which was sent over by Camp Motion Pictures for us to review. They were I tried to get them to send him a real copy, but nope, no one responded to my email, and he never got a copy. So. I mean, they could I'm going to have to illegally no. rip this fucking movie, then transcode it to a smaller file, and then upload it privately and send it to him. And I'm telling you that right now live on air because that's your fault. That's on you guys. I tried to do the right thing. I'm not going to make this poor bastard spend $30 fucking dollars in a Blu-ray. 
He doesn't know if he's going to like it. Maybe he likes it. He'll buy it for the second sequel. You know? Because the sequel's on this Blu-ray, too. You can't see it because you don't have a camera. I can't. I see a little cartoon picture. Yeah. <laughs> there. There's for the live stream. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh, that's what we're going to do for next week. And uh, any last words, Owen? No. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, see you next week, guys. <laughs> Peace.